in our south zone, we have temperatures that are generally in the mid 50s, and that's because the cloud cover came in first, so you didn't quite get as warm as areas further north farther north, I should say. And then you can see upper 50s to near 60 here in our west zone. Milford, you're still at 60 degrees right now. And then in our north zone, we're looking at uh, temperatures that are, look at this, we have still 61 right now at Melvin, 61 also at Emmett. So we still have some low 60s here in the north zone where you kept some of that filtered sunshine the longest. All right, let's get back to the water vapor loop. You know how much I love to show you this because it just shows you so much more than regular satellite imagery. This is just mid-level moisture. You can see that big, powerful upper level low, which is just lumbering slowly eastward. So you take the dynamics with this and you start barreling that into the unstable air and that moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And you've got some trouble with severe weather. We talked about last night, the tornadoes, and now that threat continues. This, well, it's kind of covered by the rain, but this yellow area here that you see underneath the rain, that's a tornado watch. This is a severe thunderstorm watch, and you can see flood warnings in here as well. This is a pretty potent area of storms down to the south, so it's the gift that keeps on giving, that big upper low. So, all right, here's tonight with that batch. Notice how it kind of comes through, and then tomorrow we're going to have another batch that kind of comes in. Notice basically the southern half of the area, a better chance than the northern half of getting some showers, but notice that low is still over St. Louis, and this is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then as we move eastward, another surge of moisture comes in. This is pretty good rain for the south zone, but then this all should peel off. Most models now have it ending by dawn Saturday. There's still the European model. The European model still keeps the rain in for a part Saturday morning, then it ends it. But we all do get into some sunshine, and that sets us up for a great Mother's Day. All right, tonight, mid to upper 40s for a low, so not a bad night from a temperature standpoint. Pretty typical. 60 the high tomorrow with those showers, and then here we go. 60 on uh, Saturday, 64 with lots of sun, light wind on Sunday, beautiful Mother's Day, then 70s to near 80 all next week, guys. Can't wait.